explain your uh, your history and uh, uh, how you you meet uh, the other guys uh, and the director? Uh, that was long time ago. Uh, they decide to uh, to make this movie and. Uh, they said we need you to come to Cairo uh, to shoot this movie if you if you have time. Uh, and at, at this time I was a refugee, uh, you know, a asylum seeker in Sweden. So I said to them, I don't have a, a paper, I don't have a passport. I have an alien passport, a travel document. Uh, I said, try, come to Cairo and try. Nothing will happen. So I flew from uh, from Sweden to to Cairo airport, and the police catch me in the in the airport, and I stayed in the airport like 12 hours. Excellent. Yeah, and I managed to uh, to get some money to some guards and Bakhshish, just to get me a phone so I can call Tamer or Khalid and saying. I am here actually, but I can't get out of the airport because of I have this issue with me, a travel document, not a passport. And then they said me some, some guys who get me out of, uh, out of the airport and the story begins. We, we shot there in Cairo for two months and you know I can't stay in Cairo for three or four months because I'm an asylum seeker in Sweden so I have to go back to to Sweden so I go back to Sweden and then back to Cairo and then two months and then go back to so just like this the story of uh, of the movie is just like this we are traveling from city to city trying to identify ourselves in the city or identify the city even which kind of city, what kind of people we are living in, and what kind of problem we have in this city. Uh, and there was a beautiful way to describe this, this movie. Different cities, different routes, and one story. Yes, and um, uh, in your opinion, uh, there is a spirit for Cairo different from Beirut and different from Baghdad, yes. which yes. is... Uh, there is a kind of a spiritual uh, uh, sense uh, of the city in, in, in Baghdad because Baghdad at, the, at, at that time was under the war, you know, and it's still under the war actually. Uh, so there is lots of massive feelings and you, you get afraid on the street all the time, you get bullets. You get the helicopters, you get tanks, you get military everywhere. Uh, Beirut, you get this tension in Beirut, car bombing or things like that. But uh, very peaceful sea, there is a sea in it. And in Cairo, there is a sense of history, an old history, because it's an ancient city. But it's getting destroyed day by day by people. There's new people who came to the city. The old people are getting out of the city. The buildings are changing. The language are changing. Everything changing. So you sense that if, if you are European or, if you, or, or you are a foreign person, you sense there is some kind of difference between those kind of three cities, Baghdad and Beirut and Cairo. And even you get it when you travel from, from your city, even here in Bizarro, you go to, to, to Rome as well, or you go to Palermo, you get, there is something different in the city. So th that's how you get it from Baghdad to Cairo to Beirut. And uh, um, in your opinion now, uh, how is Cairo actually? Because it's changing and very a lot. dynamic. A lot. And very, and very fast. Yeah. Very fast changing. And you can you can you can sense the change. You can you can touch it actually. Uh, Alexandria as well, changing a lot. All Egypt actually are changing. Baghdad going 
also to the same changes, but in a, uh, in a massive way, in a military way. Uh, Beirut also getting changed, but in an ethnic way, because it's too many groups in it. So you sense it. You sense it when you, when you walk on the street. You sense the, the difference between the past and the future and the now. You sense there is change, a big change will come to those cities and it's going to destroy it anyway. It's going to destroy the feeling, the old feeling of the, of the city, the beautiful city. I remember when I was a child, Baghdad was a very diverse city. Uh, city. Uh, you know, there's nobody knows this, but Baghdad actually was built by Jewish. Uh, when I was young, uh, when I was a child, I know I had a, a Jewish friends and uh, a Jewish neighbors and my mother was visiting them and they visiting me, but they are gone now because of the situation, of, of the conflict between uh, religions. Uh, in Beirut also there is a big changes between those ethnic uh, groups uh, in Cairo. Cairo also is going uh, really different day by day. Yes. And this is very concerning. And uh, last year in, in Cairo I met uh, Hamir Ramses. Yeah. And I saw his uh, documentary about uh, Jewish uh, in Cairo. Yeah, and beautiful. And it's also here a very long history destroyed by politics yeah. and religion. Yeah, and this is pity actually. This is pity because we are uh, we are people, we are peaceful people trying to live in a peaceful way, like, like any kind of normal people. But we can't because we have this... If there's lots of things affecting us, uh, governments affecting us, uh, the West affecting us, uh, Europe also affecting us, and violence as well affecting, affecting the society. And, the society getting changed by violence. And it's happening every day. Now it's happening in Baghdad every day, daily. You get a car bombing daily in Baghdad. Uh, monthly you get a car bombing in Beirut. And uh, a prisoner in, uh, in Cairo, activists getting in prison all the days because they need to express themselves, they need to, because it's their right actually, sure. to defend the city, sure. to defend their life. It's a pity. Yeah, but in the film I saw like a happy island because there, uh, there is a poetry and there is art. And in the film I love very much the, um, uh, the character of the old calligraphy in Baghdad. Can you tell us something about him? Uh, we had Hashem al Khattad. He, uh, we call it Hashem al Khattad, the bibliography who, who, who wrote this. And he gets students, uh, and now they are growing. It's, it's a growing art now. It's a very growing art. And uh, they are studying this kind of art now in a university and the Institute of Fine Art as well. There's a, a section, a big section for calligraphy and for uh, art writing, how, how you write in Arabic, yes. and it's a beautiful, beautiful express, beautiful yes. expression. I saw the, the title and it's The title wonderful. is beautiful. Yes. This is the thuluth. Yes. They call it the thuluth in, uh, in Arabic writing. It's a beautiful, yes. it's a massive beautiful. Yeah. Yes, and it's an art in, uh, in Baghdad. It is. It's art, it's, uh, it's an independent art, and there's a lot of students who get, uh, who get into this art. And I um, saw in, uh, in the film that uh, in the past uh, this art is, uh, used, uh, is uh, used also for uh, drawing uh, the poster for film. Yeah. Now they are mixing. There, there's a lot of painters who, who paint and do this kind of art uh, uh, and mix it together. Yeah. And this is a beautiful way. It's, it's a new wave now. It's a very new wave. And it's going to be growing up. and more and more. It's going to be beautiful. I hope. And uh, now, how is the, um, the situation for the cinema in Baghdad? Because it has a, a very long and important history. Yeah, we, in, 
in Baghdad, we don't have a, a, a cinema. No. We have uh, a filmmakers who who are trying to make projects. Uh, we succeed in 2003 to make the first uh, the first independent movie and 35 million called Under Exposure, uh, directed by Oday Rashid. And I was acting in this movie as well. Uh, the cinema uh, under Saddam's regime was uh, a propaganda, not a cinema actually, it was a propaganda to Saddam, uh, to the regime. But now it's getting, I hope, it's getting uh, uh, growing and growing day by day. I hope so, I hope so. But all of them, all of, all of the filmmakers actually are outside Iraq. Some of them are still in Baghdad, still struggling in Baghdad because of the situation of Iraq, of Baghdad. But I hope they will, uh, they will succeed to make uh, more and more in Iraqi cinema. I hope so. I hope so. I came from a, a Muslim family actually, but I'm not a Muslim. Um, let's say I'm not a practicing. Uh, I could be a Muslim, I could be a Jewish, I could be a Christian, uh, I could be anything. But at least I need to be a human. And that's, uh, that's the major message uh, from our religious, to be a human, to treat another human in a kind way. But this is a new wave of, uh, of, of they call it Islam, but it's not Islam. It's something else. It's not Islam. It's absolutely not. Shukran. Shukran, Jazeera.